Hi there, Deputy Chief Officer Greg Patterson from CFA Training. Just wanted to really give you a quick update on uh, some staffing related issues um, within training. Um, as a lot of districts would be aware, a lot of brigades would be aware, we've shared 12 learning and development coordinators or coordinators learning and development across the state for many, many years now. We actually were able to secure through government funding uh, the ability to um, put another nine uh, coordinators learning and development uh, into CFA, nine new positions. Now, effectively, what does that mean to you as brigades and as volunteers? You will have a face of training in every district now. Every district has its own coordinator learning and development, who is the face of CFA training, who is there to provide you with the customer service that you would expect out of the training department. But more particularly, those coordinators take on a, a bit of a strategic role for us here at a state level. So when we talk to brigades and we talk to groups and we talk to districts about developing your training plans for the next financial year based on what it is you want, uh, why you want that training, where you want that training to be delivered, when you want it to be delivered and how many people you want trained, our coordinators or your coordinators at a district level be the, will be the ones that will be working with brigades, working with groups, working with the districts and the district teams more particularly to assist in the development of those training plans and to ensure that you have a face of training sitting in your districts. Really exciting for us because we can now sort of provide you with an opportunity to go to your district rather than to region or drive miles to talk to a coordinator, your district headquarters, coordinators are sitting in there. Make yourselves known to them, go and introduce yourself to them because that'll make their jobs a lot easier as well. But a uh, really exciting piece of uh, information and a really exciting initiative that we're pretty proud we've been able to implement. And hopefully you'll see some massive, massive um, changes for each of the districts now with, with the appointment of these coordinators.